All right, this is fifth grade, module one, lesson eight. And in this lesson, we're just going to continue rounding decimals to any place value. Uh, we're going to continue using that vertical number line. Ultimately, down the road, students are going to learn a, a, a more uh, a shortcut, like kind of using the standard technique. But at this point, we're still practicing using that vertical number line so students are developing number sense instead of just blindly following a rule. So it says write the decomposition that helps you and then round to a given place value and draw number lines to explain your thinking. So um, it says we're going to round to the nearest tenth, hundredth, and whole number here. And here is the number that we're going to be doing the rounding. So remember when it says round to the nearest tenth, that means your number line is going to go in increments of tenths. All right, and remember the tenths is right here, that first decimal place, that 0.5. So our line, it might go like 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, right? And we only really want to show as little of the number line as necessary because we don't want to waste our time writing a whole bunch of stuff. So I know that it's going to be as low as 43.5 and as high as 43.6. That's the relevant part of our number line. We could have extended below here going down to including 43.4 or we could have gone beyond and included 43.7. But I know that this is the real important interval right here. And I know that right in the middle, what's right in the middle between 43.5 and 43.6? Well, a lot of students say if it's 43.5 and a half, <laughs> uh, and that's, that's actually not a, a bad way to initially try and say it. It's really 43.55, and that's because we can think of this as 43 and 50 hundredths and 43 and 60 hundredths, and that means in the middle is going to be 43 and 55 hundredths, all right? And so now where... And I'm going to, let's see, let's see. And, of course, ignore my dog because she's barking and annoying everybody. And so 43.586. All right. So the idea would be where does this number live on our number line? Does it live down here or does it live somewhere up here? And the answer is, well, it's going to live somewhere up here, um, because it's larger than 0.55. The decimal part is larger than 0.55. So it's going to live somewhere up there. And we can label it right here. And uh, it says to circle to the rounded value. And that means 43.586 rounded to the nearest tenth is 43 and 6 tenths right here. We don't need that last zero. So it's 43.6. And if we wanted to, we could just continue. Uh, I'm going to skip, and I'm going to go straight to the nearest 1. And we can, here's our line. And we want to show as little of the line as possible. And remember, the nearest 1, so that's the whole number right here. So 43, 44, 45, 46, right? And so we know our bound, our boundary is going to be a low of 43 and a high of 44, right in the middle is 43.5 or 43 and 5 tenths. And so then the question is, where would 43.586 live? Is it going to live down here or is it going to live up here? And it looks like it's going to live right up here, just barely above that 43.5. So it's going to live here, which means it rounds to 44. More of the same, only this time it's in a word problem, and it adds a little complexity. It says a trip from New York to Seattle is 2,852.1 miles. So 5,000, I mean 2,852 and one-tenth miles. And a family wants to make that drive in 10 days, driving the same number of miles each day. About how many miles will they drive each day? So that means we're going to divide by 10 because we want to know how much do they drive on each of the 10 days. 
And then it says, here's the tricky set thing, it says it round your answer to the nearest tenth of the mile. So without worrying about rounding, we know that that decimal is going to look like it moves one place to the left, because really, each of the digits is moving one space to the right because we're dividing by 10, so we're making the numbers le worth less. So they're moving to the column to the right, which makes the decimal look like it's moving to the left. And so we now get 285.21 miles each day. And we want to round that to the nearest tenth of a mile. And the tenths place is right here, that first decimal place right there. So our vertical number line would go as low as 285.2 and as high as 285.3. We know that smack dab in the middle is 285.25. And then so then the question is, where would 285.21 go? Is it going to go above or below? And this comparison is actually easy because 21, 25, see that right here? 21 and 25. So it makes it kind of easy to, to see that it's going to go down here, which means it's going to round down to 285.2 miles. And the last slide for this video, a decimal number has two digits to the right of its decimal point. If we round it to the nearest tenth, the result is 18.6. What is the maximum possible value of this number? Uh, use words and number line to explain your reasoning. Okay, so we know the number has to have two decimal points, all right? So it's going to start with 18 point blankety blank, all right? That's our number, and the, the thing is we know it's supposed to round to 18.6, so we know it's got to live somewhere down here, all right, in this section. It can't live up here. It's got to live down here. So we know right in the middle is 18.65, or 18 and 65 hundredths, all right? So since we know that it's going to be 18.65 is right in the middle, and we know that this number has to live somewhere down here and have two decimal places, that means the largest number, the greatest maximum possible value that it could be, would be 18.64. Because anything larger than that would either have three decimal places, or it would be 0.65 or 0.66 or higher, in which case it would live up here. So the maximum value is 18.64. And that wraps up fifth grade module one, lesson eight, using the vertical number line to round decimals.